With Eurovision, it's a huge kitschy show with incredible technology. Some of the, some dodgy songs, I'll, I'll grant you, and some unusual performers. And it was interesting just to think, well, how are we gonna bring that to Australia? The way that we sold it to Europe was that there are so many people from the diasporas of Europe, you know, the Maltese, uh, Swedish, Polish, German, Turkish, SBS had played Eurovision for nearly 40 years and I think they recognise that our artists are so good. Australians love to compete and we love to be seen on a world stage. As we were admitted to Eurovision, it was a very kind of slow process. We were invited as an interval act to begin with and Jess Malboy did a great job of that. Then Guy Sebastian was in invited as a wild card and from there we were gradually admitted. and. We were picking the artists, SBS and Blink TV, but what we wanted to do was bring the audience into that process. So after four years, we thought, let's just see if we can do this as a live show and bring the audience to it. So it needed to be a spectacle that we were putting on. We decided that we'd run a competition and that it would be 50% jury, 50% of the audience making the decision. And so we had to find a place that would support the audience in coming to the show and a place where we could make it really big, really quickly. We went to a number of different states and just thought, how can we package this to make it work as well as it could? Uh, what we wanted was a sense of community. We really wanted to grow the Eurovision community and to put that on camera. And when we came to Queensland, the amazing thing was that Screen Queensland organised a number of different groups to come and meet us. We were met by the city of Gold Coast, members of the TEQ team, and you could just feel that there was this integrated team behind you. Our finding with the crew here was terrific. Eurovision is a very high standard, very fine examples of camera work. It's a very kind of ornate style. What they really learned quickly was the style of filming for something like our show. We really couldn't recommend Queensland highly enough. You could feel that at the highest level of government, the Premier, the Minister, uh, the Gold Coast Mayor. We were surrounded by people that really wanted the show to happen and they had passion for it like we did. There was this sense of a community of people that really wanted to make a great show and to have you uh, as guests and that made so much difference to the overall product. I remember we had a Danish director and he would cross to the beach and walk the beach in the mornings and go swimming and going, oh Paul, it's like Eurovision on holiday. Would I recommend Queensland to other filmmakers? No, because we'd love to be able to keep it to ourselves.